What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miles. Today I'm going to be test riding the Lowrider S. Guys, this is Anthony. He's a. Uh, I'm actually doing him a favor by riding his bike home for him since he's got this truck. Anthony, I got two questions. One, do I need to know anything before I ride the bike? Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'll take that. And two, are you nervous to let me ride it? Not at all. All right, sweet. You should be. <laughs> uh, I haven't yet. I should. I'm just gonna throw my bag in your. You just wanna. Throw that in your truck. Yeah. I gotta stop by uh, guy's house real quick. I bought those factory wheels for. Her. Okay. And then uh, just drop off some lug nuts that I wouldn't. I guess wasn't supposed to get with with the wheels. All right. Is it far? Uh, it's right off of Isle. 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 Yeah, Isle. All right. All right, mate. <sighs> the Lowrider S. I have never ridden on a 114, and this one has a Stage One on it. As you can see, he's got the two brothers exhaust sweet bike all right well i'm just gonna pop on this bad boy Whew. okay let's start her up let's start the engines up here me and the boys just leaving work <laughs> okay this is cool i've never ridden with a two-in-one either so this is gonna be uh Quite interesting. Ooh. Feels nice. This feels nice. Yeah, I like the way that feels. It's uh feels a little bit more opened up. Um much more quicker throttle response. I'm not gonna go too hard on it, but uh definitely gonna ride it. I definitely want to feel the power of the 114 Milwaukee 8. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I didn't even realize it has a digital gauge there with the analog. It's pretty quick, man. This is pretty quick. Oh gosh. I made another rookie mistake. I forgot to button my helmet again. Damn it. This is pretty clean though. This feels good. Very responsive throttle. He's got the Bung King crash bar down there. We got some uh, bikers out. It feels good out. That's why. Got a sporty. <laughs> There's Zach. All right. This is bad ass. You know, it feels a lot like the 107. It just feels like it has a little bit more power. Just like the tiniest bit, though. It's not like a huge difference, really. I was expecting it to be like maybe a huger difference. Oh, a little pickup, pickup. So yeah, guys, Anthony is the uh, new sales manager at the dealership, and he moved here from far away with only the bike, and he recently just got a truck, so he hasn't been able to get the bike home. So I figured I would make a vlog for you guys and uh, help him out at the same time. Um, and also he gave me, well, he didn't give them to me. I bought his black mirrors. So now he's got my chrome mirrors on here. <laughs> he's actually gonna be doing the FXRT fairing. Um, he just ordered the paint, the matching paint. So he's gonna be doing the, uh, that fairing setup and getting it painted and everything, which is gonna look really badass. Woo! Go ahead and uh, 
like and subscribe and comment feel free to do whatever you want to do but uh, I put out content pretty frequently and I work at Harley Davidson so I'm kind of like on the front lines Ooh, the braking the braking that is huge that's the big difference Let's see if I can button this helmet while I'm at this light oh gosh fat fingers fat fat fingers oh yeah um so the braking I just noticed that dual rotor in the front oh I buttoned it all right yeah the braking's a little bit better And this two into one is a lot more free flowing. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I see. Now I see what everybody's talking about with the lowrider S. And this seat, he's got the, uh, I think it's the stock lowrider seat on the lowrider S. And it's actually very comfortable. Um, I'm liking it a lot. Oh, it's cool out. It feels real cool out now. It's starting to cool off at night, which is nice. Looks like he's got 5,000 miles on here. So much power. Woo, so much power. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard yet, but they are uh, putting out a 131 kit for the soft tail models. And they are also making a 119 kit and a 122 kit and uh, coming out with some new parts. All right, I want to open it up right here. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Woo. This is nice. I like this. I'm so used to the digital uh, tachometer that I'm not used to looking at seeing these the RPMs on like a analog gauge. I'm always watching my RPMs. It handles good, man. It handles great. I mean, obviously, anybody who's who asks, which is better, the the Street Bob or the Lowrider S? Like, well, obviously, the Lowrider S has a few more bells and whistles. Oh, baby, <laughs> he's not wasting any time. Hey, wait for me, dude. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you live. I got your bike. Okay, now. Ooh, let's test this braking. Okay. Whew. I couldn't see uh, the cars in front of me. That was scary. Oh, gosh. He is low on gas. Hmm. I can't tell which... Uh, which gear I'm in. And there's no gas in this. Hmm. Man, he is just not waiting at all. Okay, I was in third, I was in second. Oops. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, obviously the Lowrider S comes with uh, some extra bells and whistles. Inverted front forks, dual, uh, dual rotors on the front, so better braking, uh, mag wheels. I'm trying to think, oh, the bigger gas tank, that's a big one, 5.5 gallon gas tank here. The street Bob's got a 3.5, I believe. So yeah, there are a little bit of uh, some cooler things on the Lowrider S that the Street Bob doesn't have. But uh, 
um, I'm biased, man. I love the street bob. And also, you know, I, I'm not test riding this because I'm interested in buying it. I'm doing this uh, for him. I'm completely happy with my, uh, my street bob. I love it. So, I just figured it would be a good opportunity to make some content for you guys. And I'm having a lot of fun. This is great. Squirt! Whew. While we're waiting, if you guys don't know already, my name is Miles. I am a part specialist at Independence Harley Davidson. And, um,. I love motorcycles, especially Harley-Davidson's. I have a 2020 Street Bob, and I've made a lot of content prior to this over uh, a Sportster. I had a Iron 883 that I converted into a 1250. So if you haven't seen that already, go ahead and check it out. It's slow on gas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you like it? Yeah, man. Handles. Oh yeah, you got that bunking thing in there. Mm -hmm. really? It definitely, I can feel it in the. Inch LA chopper pullback. Mm -hmm. You got the uh, two in one, two brother exhaust. Yeah, that exhaust, man. I've never ridden with the two in one. It, it, uh, you can feel it. Oh, you can. Uh, I mean, so, even if it says that one or two. Yeah. Horses, yep. The back pressure is a lot yeah, sure. smoother. I mean, if when you downshift, that, that's what I love about that two in one. Mm -hmm. You hear that back pressure. It feels very open. It is. You know, it free is. flowing. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like I put like three thousand miles on this bike, and I was getting bored with it. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I was almost on verge of like selling it. Yeah. And then I did the exhaust, and I was like, never getting rid of this bike. There you go. Um, Wait till you do the cams and or anything. Exactly. You know. Yeah, I'll do that twenty two X cam probably with a power vision to it. Yeah. But uh, bunking uh, engine guard. Yep. Right. It's good because it's away from the brake pedal and shifter. Right. I forgot about that spacer down here. Exactly. Yep. It handles. Yep. Yep. Gives you, like, I think it's an inch and a half more ground clearance or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and this seat is comfortable, dude. Seat, dude. This key. That's, that's the <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Seat. Very nice. I mean, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Definitely, yeah, man. Yeah, Two Brothers Exhaust. Just did the Screaming Eagle Harley Davidson tuner. Mm-hmm. HD grips and then that cruise control. Oh yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And now you got these super cool chrome mirrors too. Hey, hey. All right. So you want which way are you going? Are we going out that way? That way? That way. All right, I'll just pull out and follow you again. I'm just gonna wait for him to come out and follow him like a lost puppy. Yeah, this thing's a monster. <laughs> It shifts, shifts gears really smoothly too. He's got the Dominion collection of foot pegs on there, like I got on the street, Bob. And um, yeah, I'm about to release, I'm about to put out a video updating you guys on all the uh, upgrades I've done to the street, Bob. Uh, I pretty much have blacked it out now. I'm excited to show you guys uh, I pretty much call it the Street Bob Special FX BBS because that's what it is. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe so you can see that video and check out some of my old videos. And uh, I'm happy that you've tuned in and joined the Put Miles on It Army. Like he said, he did some kind of spacer. Uh, oh yeah, I can feel it now. He did some kind of spacer on the mono shock so that it handles a little bit differently. Oh wow, I didn't even, I didn't even feel that. That was a railroad track. That was a railroad track. I didn't even feel it. Nothing at all. So I've kind of been dismissive about his uh, little mono shock spacer thing, but after that, I didn't even feel that went over a railroad track usually it's a uh, it's like whoa that was nothing hmm I might have to look into that I might have to look into that yeah that was a bump too barely felt it yeah I think that's I mean mostly because of the 
front suspension, the inverted forks. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Forgot all about the inverted forks. I barely felt that. Amazing. Amazing. Got the Ciro phone holder mount and the cruise control. Cruise control. I don't even want to test that out. I mean, we're not cruising. But that is something that I'm interested in putting on the uh, the Street Bob as well. This thing's a monster, guys. This thing is a monster. It feels like I'm just riding on a cloud. That's how it feels. Hmm. Oh, it's the... <laughs> um... I think I'm gonna run out of gas, dude. I'm not hear it making that noise? I've never heard it. <laughs> One bar of gas. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's doing that because it needs gas. Good God, man. gone past fourth gear. I haven't even gone past fourth gear. Plenty of power. But like I was saying earlier, they got the uh, 131 kits now coming out for the soft tails. Man, can you, could you imagine? I can't imagine actually. This frame is, you know, not as big as the touring models. Putting that 131 in here, just turn it into a monster. It's already a monster. This is like good out of the get-go. This is like one of those bikes that you get and it's good to go. I mean, people like us, we're adrenaline junkies and we like to add things to our bikes and everything. But if you're just like an average rider, and you're getting on a lowrider S, like you're good from the get-go. Like, throw some exhaust on it, put some bars, and you're good. See what I mean? Whew. Totally not used to this RPM gauge kind of like to keep track of my RPMs. So yeah, first time on a 114, huh? I'm liking it. I'm liking it, man. I'm happy with my 107, to be honest. 107 is a totally enough power, but uh, 114 is nice. This is, this is a badass bike, guys. It's a beautiful night. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Man, I really hope I don't run out of gas. Oh man, look at the skyline. Wow, it's beautiful outside. It's starting to feel like fall. Finally! Fall is my time of the year. I'm an October baby, so. I love fall, Halloween, spooky season, spooky season. Oh, there's a great view of the city.
Lowrider S. Whew. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm trying to keep track of him. I'm trying to keep track of him and, and get used to the the handling and the riding of this bike at the same time. Oh man. That two into one is pretty pretty awesome. I do plan on doing a two into one eventually on my bike, but I'm happy with S and S slip-ons. like a reserve tank that's what I want to know like if you get low so low and there's nowhere to stop do you have like backup it's a good question these bars are awesome of course he said LA choppers LA choppers is my jam guys I love LA choppers I got the Cage Fighter T-Bars on mine and I love them. These are nice too. <laughs> this bike is fast. This bike is quick. Definitely more power than the street bob, but I mean it's not by much, but you can feel it. It's subtle. It's smooth. Handles turns really well. It is hot. It is hot. The engine is hot. I told him he needs to get those Kuriakin saddle shields for it. It's on its like last leg. Needs gas. Big time. Anthony, if you're watching this right now, your bike needs gas. I don't know how it's going to help in this situation, <laughs> but uh, I guess this is uh, what it sounds like when it needs gas. It's starving for fuel. Uh, thanks man for letting me test ride your bike. It is kick ass for sure. I hope you don't live too far away. <laughs> it's like he could hear me. He knows. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Man, hello. See ya. See ya. Okay. A little barbecue cookout. Oh, that smells good. That smells real good. I feel terrible for running all your gas out, Anthony. I'm so sorry. But at least you got your bike home. And that's all that matters. I've never seen a bike so low on gas. I've never ridden on a bike so low on gas. Especially the Lowrider S. So it looks like we're about to pull in, guys. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
makes me very happy. Uh, I try to put out content all the time for you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. That's the Lowrider S. And um, ride fast, take chances. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh he's saying up there. Up we go. All right, guys, my name is Miles. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.